What's going on, everybody? Here we are again, live in the live stream. And guys, we're not doing, we're not looking for silver right now. We're going buffalo hunting, and we got nickels, as you can see. I got a buffalo hiding right there, right there. I don't know about this one, guys. This one looks worn. I don't know what we're going to get here. I don't know if we're going to get a date. It looks really, really worn. Look at that. All right, let's flip it over. Three, two, one, see what we got. Oh, we got a date. We got a date, and I think it's 1920. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell. Can you tell, guys? We're gonna have to put this one under a scope. I think it might be 1920. Let's see if there's any mint mark. Possible mint mark there. Let's put it under the scope. All right, we got it under the scope here. And if you look really, really closely, you can see it's actually a 1920. You can see the one, the nine, the two, and the zero right there. It's really hard to tell, but it is a 1920. Let's flip it over. We looked at the back, and unfortunately, no mint mark on that. It would have been better if we had a mint mark. Uh, no doubling or anything like that on the five cents. I went over to the book and went down to the 1920. And unfortunately, it is very high mintage. $63 million, $1.50 in just good for shape. Uh, which is what we have right there, pretty much. This is probably right around a G4. So, uh, still pretty awesome. Uh, guys, part two of this video is going to blow your mind. Uh, so definitely check out part two tomorrow. And we'll see you next time. As always, happy hunting.